Hello, my buddies and bats, and welcome back to my no buy year. My name is Emily, but you can call me Ems. It is January the 11th, 2019, so it has been 11 days into my no buy year. If you guys didn't see my video introducing my no buy year, this is not a full no buy year, but it is a replacements only no buy year, and then there's a couple of exceptions on my list. So let's tell you all about how the first 11 days went. So, so far things have been going pretty well. Um, I definitely have wanted to purchase things. That is definitely sh for sure. It's a really hard habit to break out of. So today marked my first pay since starting my no buy year. So the first pay within 2019. And I did go to the mall, but it was because I needed to replace some stuff that I had just run out of this week. So, I made a list of exactly what I was getting at the mall, and I didn't get anything else other than that, and I did get some food. But food does not count on my no-buy. So, the first thing I did purchase right at the very beginning of the year was my bullet journal. So, I use a bullet journal, and I have tried using just lined journals for my bullet journaling, but it makes me fall out the wagon and I don't enjoy using them at all. So I have found that the Loic term 1917s is the journals that I need for myself. So I did purchase a Loic term 1917 because I was out of almost out of pages in my new one and my old one, but the number of pages I had left wouldn't have been enough for my New Year stuff plus January. So I'm going to use the rest of the pages in my old one for recipes so I can have that in the kitchen, write down my recipes. That way I don't have to have my phone or my iPad like around water and things. <laughs> So I actually spent half an hour picking out my my Loic Tim color. I don't know if it's really going to show up here. It's not blue. It looks blue on the screen. It might be because I'm just so white that it's trying to white balance to me. Um, but this is a purple. It's like a plummy purple color. And I put a pink piece of washi tape and a purple piece of washi tape across it. And uh, obviously it just says my name, bullet journal, <laughs> January 2019 to blank. So... This, I'm already on page, yeah, I'm already on page 37, and there were only 20 pages left in my old journal. So, page 37 on the 11th day of the year, I mean, yeah. So, this was a purchase I did make, but I actually decided on using the gift card that my mom got me for uh, Chapters Indigo, the bookstore that I go to. Um, I decided to purchase this at Chapters so that I could use that gift card. So, I actually ended up only spending $2 on this because I used that gift card for my mother. So, thank you very much, Mom, because I know you watch these and you comment on these. So, if you guys see my mom commenting down below, say hi to her. Say hi. Hi, Mama. Um, so then the things that I went to the mall today to replace were my deodorant, which this is my old one, and it is literally, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like right at that plastic bit, and like these plastics are showing up, so there's like no product left in this, so I picked up this, um, the exact same one, it's my favorite one, it's Tom's Long Lasting Natural Odor Protection, 24 hour, Women's deodorant, no pro propylene glycol. Ugh, I got less like on my teeth. Wow, attractive. Um, and the scent is called Beautiful Earth. So this is my favorite deodorant. It's like really fresh smelling. It's an all natural deodorant. Um, and it's the only one so far that's really worked. I've tried Green Beaver, and the in the Green Beaver toothpaste works really well for me, but their deodorant was kind of lackluster. Um, I'm not a heavy sweater. I don't have a lot of body odor, so this one works for me, but if you're a heavy sweater, this is probably not for you. I uh, will be honest, but this is my favorite deodorant, so I just replaced this. So I replaced my deodorant. And I had to walk past, I got this at Lawton's, and I had to walk past the NYX, the NYX counter. And they had so many of the, like, special Christmas things on sale. Like, the $100, like, multi-sets of NYX, like, makeup for, like, $45 or less. And, whoo, it took a lot. Like, okay, um, drugstore makeup, NYX, NYX is my favorite 
brand of drugstore makeup. It's one of the only drugstore makeups I will purchase from other than like Physicians Formula, but usually it's NYX. And that was, oh, in essence, but whew, that, I, I even almost drifted over to look at stuff and I was like, nope, no, no, nope, 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 don't do it, don't look, don't even look. And so I didn't purchase anything. I purchased this one deodorant. This is all I bought at Lawton's. Wow. I usually don't get out of there without at least buying a lipstick as well. So we did good. And then the next place that I went to, and by next, I mean, well, there was another place I went to, but I'll tell you what I bought there in a second. But um, I went to the body shop, which because I am almost out of toner. Um, I have one more day's worth of toner, like just like a couple little drip of drops at the bottom. So I've, I use the Body Shop Seaweed Oil Balancing Toner because I have combination skin and I have, tr I you went through a bottle of their aloe toner when I was having a lot of skin problems where my skin was reacting to everything and I didn't know it was up. Turns out it was my birth control, um, which I'm not on anymore. But um, so now I use the seaweed oil balancing toner, which really helps in my T-zone. So I've already gone through almost an entire bottle of this. I have just like a couple drippy drops right at the bottom that will be tomorrow's or actually tonight's um, toner. And then I have this bottle. I find myself, I go through a bottle of toner. I go through two, one and a half bottles of toner for every one bottle of cleanser. But that's because I don't use cleanser on my face twice a day but I use toner on my face twice a day. So I use cleanser at night and I just use water in the morning. And that's just because I find that I really feel like I need it at night. But whereas when I wake up in the morning, I still feel pretty okay. I just use water and then I use the toner to kind of freshen myself up and get rid of any excess oils. So I got my toner and I ran out of hand cream. And yes, even the hand cream that my mom got me in my stocking for Christmas because I uh, got, well, my work got me a gift certificate for my tattoo place. So I got these tattoos on January 2nd, um, which will probably be my only tattoos for the year unless I get other gift certificates for my tattoo place. But my work gave me that for my five year anniversary uh, of working at where I work. And so I got my Awen tattoo and my circle and square tattoo. They are still healing and they definitely need a touch up. Um, the Awen really needs a touch up. I don't know if you can, if you'll be able to see it, but like on the middle ray, it's kind of patchy, but I do get a free touch up with these and the circle and square is still kind of scabby. So some of the lines are thicker than others because of the scabs. So we'll see where we need to touch up later once these are fully healed. But I've been washing my hands a lot because I don't want these tattoos getting infected or anything like that. So I'm washing my hands a lot more. So I was using lotion a lot, a lot, a lot because my hands were getting dry, especially since it's winter time here in Canada. So I was getting chapped hands. I've never dealt with chapped hands, but my skin was, well, is, is like really dry and patchy at the top of my hands right now. And I'm getting chapped hands. So I ran out of hand cream. <laughs> So I also got myself some hand cream. I got the almond milk and honey hand cream from the body shop. And because I purchased these two things, they had buy two, get one free. But I didn't want to just buy something. I didn't want to just grab something because it was free. So I just got myself another hand cream because I knew that I would be needing that a lot in the next coming months. So I just got another hand cream. I got the Shea one to try that one out. Um, so I got that one for, for, for completely free. And then I found out that because of Christmas gift shopping at the body shop, I actually got $10 off all of this. So, um, I actually ended up getting basically both of these hand creams for free and a little bit off of the toner. So pretty good. Um, and I also picked up a free sample of the vitamin E moisturizer because currently right now I'm using the vitamin E gel moisture cream on my face. That's what I use right now. So that I already had this, I didn't purchase this, but I'm about halfway down and I'm really noticing that I need to use a lot more of the gel on my face than I needed the, cause I was using before, I was using the 
aloe. This is the night cream, but the night cream's too heavy for me, so I just use that on my tattoos. Um, so this is almost completely empty. Like I literally am scraping the dregs out of those bottom corners for uh, moisturizing my tattoos. But I get, uh, I had the day cream, and it was too much for me. It was like a lot. It was just a lot. Um, so they recommended the vitamin E for me and I thought I would like trying the gel. So I got the gel. It does work. I just find I need more of it to work. So they gave me a free sample of the vitamin E moisturizer to see if I like this. That way when I need to replace this, I'll know if I want to get this again or if, if I want to get this again or if I want to switch to this one. So it's really great that the body shop will give you, they will give you samples of pretty much anything there just so that you can decide on a scent or a feeling, especially their skincare stuff, I would really recommend getting samples of their skincare because they're very, they're more than happy to give you samples of their skincare line so that you get the stuff that's right for you. So I would really recommend going in and getting some samples before per making a purchase there. Um, so that's what I did for my replacements. And then the last stop I did was Walmart. And what I bought at Walmart was rat food, rat treats, and I bought bananas. I bought bananas uh, and peanut butter. Bananas and natural peanut butter. I wanted to get almond butter, but the almond butter was so expensive at the Walmart. It's way cheaper at Bulk Barn. Like the amount I got at Bulk Barn was the same price as like half that amount. So like the amount I bought at Bulk Barn would have been, I had, I would have to pay between 20 and $30 at the Walmart to get the same amount as I got at Bulk Barn. So definitely going back to Bulk Barn at some point, probably this weekend, because I do need to do some replenishment. Um, I am out of dried fruit. I'm almost out of nuts. And I am, uh, well, I now have peanut butter, but I'll probably get some almond butter when I go, because if I'm going, I might as well. And... I do need to get some vegetables and stuff, but I'm going to use up the vegetables I have here tonight. I'm going to kind of jimmy rig myself something, and then tomorrow is grocery list making and going to the grocery store. So that is how my first uh, 11 days, so it's not really two weeks, but my first, this is, this is kind of my first check-in because I was kind of like checked out of the universe for like the first week of of my no buy so it's really like this week is when it really started um because I was kind of like living on a high of oh I don't know I didn't tell you guys okay so I started my year out meeting Naomi Smalls from RuPaul's Drag Race because my New Year's thing that I went to was a uh, drag performance and meet and greet with Naomi Smalls and a couple of local drag queens as well but I had it was my first time having New Year's off since working where I work. Um, this past September was my fifth year anniversary. So this was my sixth New Year's working there. And it is the first New Year's Eve in the six years that I have not worked. So I had an amazing time. I couldn't have asked for a better way to ring in 2019. I couldn't have expected a more amazing experience to bring to bring me into the new year so I'm thinking that this has got some really good uh, coming into the new year some good karma coming into 2019 with some good uh, ideas and a good head on my shoulders at least a better head on my shoulders the fact that I left them all um, I literally like I got my deodorant I got my hand cream and my toner I got some Taco Bell and then I got my rat food, my bananas, my peanut butter and I left. This was the shortest mall trip I've probably had in a very long time and probably it the fact that this is my first mall like this was my first proper mall trip in 2019 is kind of insane. Like for me, I would go to the mall a couple times a week and I wasn't necessarily buying things every time, but I was definitely going several, like two or like maybe two times a week. And I was definitely getting food every time, which food is okay on my no buy and things like that. But I was going and I was looking at things and I was making plans of what I wanted to buy when my paycheck came around. And then when my paycheck came around, I went back and bought them. Like this is kind of things that I did. So, so far 
I'm kind of shocked at paying attention to the things that I would have purchased or like would really like to purchase. I don't know if I would have purchased them because I do, I am a person that I do think through my purchases a lot, but sometimes I don't think through them as much as I should. So I don't think I would have purchased every single thing that I saw that I wanted, but so far it's kind of like shocking not purchasing things that I wasn't replacing or didn't need. Um, yeah, even right now, I know that I need to purchase a new iron or buy a new iron or some or like borrow an iron. Maybe I'll just borrow an iron. Um, I really want to get back into sewing and I realize that my iron doesn't work. <laughs> oh, we're having a great day, guys. Um, and I also found out that my self-healing cutting mat is missing. So I'm hoping it's at my mom's. So mom, self-healing cutting mat and iron. Do you have them? Because I would like them. Please, maybe an ironing board too. I love to borrow them, mom. <laughs> anyway, um, that's just a... Well, quick um for me lately this is a quick video and um i just really wanted to kind of check in talk about how things have been going how i've been feeling and it's weird y'all it is weird i've been listening to a lot of podcasts and i've been reading books and i've only finished one book so far but i went to the library with my friend carrie hi carrie i know you watch my videos too hi uh we got carrie a library card finally because she's from out of province originally so we got her a like library card for this province and uh we explored the library and the graphic novel section so i got myself the game of thrones graphic novel volume one so i got that and i'm going to read that this evening that will be my evening's entertainment um so i've been listening to a lot of podcasts that's kind of what i've been doing with my life um podcasts reading um, watching YouTube, catching up on different things. Um, I would like to do some writing at some point. I'm thinking I'd like to get a little bit of writing done this year too. Um, and I've been prepping myself to work on some of my, on my Ovate grade. Um, I'm in the order of Bards, Ovates, and Druids, if you did not know. I have, in this past year, I, my 2018, uh, one of my, uh, New Year's resolutions was to finish my Bardic grade, which I finished, and I am now in the Ovate grade. So I am currently working on my Ovate grade, and I even picked up myself a uh, little needles here because I'm going to be working with this tree because when I was on my walk home, well, walk from the bus stop to my front door, this tree had dropped a bunch of needles and it kind of was calling to me to pick this up. So I think that this tree will be what I work with next. Um, I have to open up my North American tree guide because I'm not very good with evergreens. I'm not sure if this is like spruce or pine or fir. I don't really know. So I'm going to have to look that up in my guide and figure out exactly what this is which is funny that I've lived here for so long and I've seen these trees all over but I just don't know which kind of tree this is like um yeah so that might be this evening's entertainment besides um besides reading the Game of Thrones graphic novel so anyways thank you guys so so much for watching today I would like you to leave a comment down below tell me how your years are going how your new year's resolutions are shaping up right now if you have fallen off the wagon it is never too late to start again because today is a new day tomorrow is a new day if you mess up today it doesn't mess up the rest of the year you can do it so I love you love you love you lots bye my buddies and bats subscribe <laughs>